Hey everyone, welcome back to Dust and Illusion Tale. Let us continue on. I just cleared the screen and now we're moving on. Might as well make it back. Aha! In the meantime... Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere. And we need to know where that is. That way. Of course, sir. If that's all. What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe. Commander, hmm. it is not your place to question what I believe. Our moment of glory draws near, and I want results. <laughs> As you wish, General. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? <laughs> okay. Okay. Go back to Aurora Village. Let's see what the mayor has to say. Uh. Please, let me know if it I'll keep my much appreciate. Okay. Still haven't found any. Uh, extra of those M things. Alright, Mayor. <laughs> It's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no. That could only be Denham Village. Did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard, wore strange armor, called himself Fuse. Mm. A lizard, you say? Mm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Mm. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik Village, mm. a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally. The tragedy tends to follow in their wake. Mm. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped. But her parents and her brother did not. Ah, it's she's all depressed. I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about views, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck. Anything thank you, new? Dust. We are indebted to you for your help. Best of luck on your quest. Okay. Yeah. Quest updated. I take it that's the main quest. Haven't found any impides. Okay, I should look. I should do that one. Box that I found. Okay, just talk to people. Okay, yep. Yeah, just saving it real quick. <laughs> okay. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. Welcome back. Your hat still looks like a watermelon. With marshmallows. And so she You honor us with your patronage, please. It is. Tell your friends, your rich friends. 
Hmm. Oh, Dust. We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. Hmm. Actually, maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? Getting drunk. He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. Ah. Oh. I don't get it. Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse I burned down an entire village. Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius' hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. Hmm. Picture story stuff. I will talk to her in a bit. And see what else is going I can find out first, then I'll go talk to her. Oh, come on! Or not. Let's go talk to her now. Alright, Chica. Alright, Ginger, what do you got? Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? <laughs> What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger, slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, Ben, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seems lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked our village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius's soldiers. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer! Hey, ease off! Dust can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name! You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice, and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry! <laughs> Fidget, please, calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that. Especially if they knew I was here. Oh, Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity. A kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. Oof. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many moonbloods left outside of their homeland. And it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Mm. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? It's being blocked, isn't it? It doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius' is bloodless to scorch this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. Mm. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. This campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Oh, oh. Whoa, what was that? Sorry, I farted. It came from the center of the village. Ah. <sighs> oh. What? Tentacles. What are these things? 
Monsters! Ginger, get down! Hey, pick up stuff during the middle of that run. <sighs> that's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. Alright. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Roan Pass. Roan Pass. At the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. Talk to everyone safe, twice. Dust. We'll meet again at... Okay, Roan Pass. Black Rock Mountains. We've been attacked! Has the box been open? That depends. Did your box have a lot of flying monsters inside it? How would I know? I've never opened the box. Never. Ever. Except... Except once. I think it's what made me this way. Maybe. Okay. Mm. Well, I doubt your box had anything to do with this, Reed. Still, I'll keep my eyes open. Mm. Oh, my box. Where's my box? Do you have my box? You must have it back. Find it, please! Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> well now, would you look at this? Seems our village has got itself a new basement. You don't seem too concerned. <laughs> Trust me, not much happens here. So when things start crawling out of the ground, you pull up a chair and enjoy the show. Okay, Augustine, but promise me that you'll stay here. I don't need anyone getting hurt. Bah! Let you have all the fun? Well, I guess you're the one with the sword, after all. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, my box. Where's my box? I'm pretty sure I didn't jump down myself. It sounds so good, I'll be mad, but oh well. Uh, no, I'm not doing trials right now. Maybe after I'm done everything in the village. But I want to explore. Save point. Oh, wait. End of the line. Looks like a pretty nasty drop. Yes, very nasty. We should go around, I think. There's no time to find another route. Those monsters came up through here. There's gotta be a path down below. Well, here goes nothing. Nope. Well, not yet anyways. Still need to check with the rest of the town. Yeah, I guess I'll go back and see what this was once I uh, edit the video. Slow it down and see what's going on. Maybe it'd be something good. <sighs> Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? Is everything alright? We traveled to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh, no. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you, from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness. She must be alive. She must have escaped. Please, let me see it. What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. In fact, yeah. I don't want to see you. When Dust starts swinging that huh. sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? <laughs> just goes... <laughs> <laughs> sword descriptive, Please, aren't Dust, you? Go there and see if she's safe. If you insist on coming up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Gianni, I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. 
I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. But then I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. Still want to stab you if in the you face. so concerned, maybe you should go look for him instead of waffling about. Oh, I'll find him. Then we're going to have a little chat. Hmm. Do do do. See what else is going on. You really ought to be better equipped in case anything else comes through here. Nonsense! I crafted this spear myself. Yes, it's very nice. All right, that's enough. Why don't you two leave me alone now? Okay, don't break your stick. Please, take a break. You've earned it. I appreciate the offer, but it's going to be a while before I can rest. All right, let's get going. What's up, old dude? Ah, Dust! Thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I hmm? think I'll be all right. Just need some time to think, so... Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. <laughs> it's not obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told him neither, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. Mm. Uh, and it's valuable? To me, yes. Sentiment. To both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm. Just before those creatures chased us back here. I like the way it is. I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really. You don't know how much this means to me. Okay. And I'll save that. You know, I think what I'm going to do is I will just uh, reload my save from earlier so I can actually go see what those items that I dropped are in case it was something good, and I'll just throw it in at the end. So I shall see y'all in a few. Let me make sure I saved it here. Alright. Alright. So I'll see y'all in a bit. Alright, hey, welcome back. Just throwing this in, because I just want to know what this is. Okay. I'm pressing nothing, I'm pressing nothing. Okay. Really? Just some items and some more gold. I didn't lose anything. Oh well. I'll just add this, tack this onto the end and whatnot, like I did, said I was going to. So thank you for joining me today for Dust and Illusion Tale. Y'all have a nice day. <laughs>